One of the world's best known champagne houses is actually named after a widow, which may seem a little odd considering how bubbly and celebratory the product is. I don't know anything about the personality of the lady in question, but she certainly did know how to put happiness in a bottle in a very elegant way. Fun, fashion and flutes of champagne were all in evidence at a recent polo event, which Karishma attended. An overcast sky and a gusting breeze suggested that the Cape weather had woken up with a headache. But the estate was ready to welcome guests to a day of late summer sport and style. The British are credited for modern day polo, but its origins are deeply rooted in India. My love for horses and all things royal have brought me to the exquisite Valdivie lifestyle estate for the Verve Clico Masters Polo. And as you can see, it is definitely a setting fit for royalty. It would still be a while before the hooves would pound across the pitch. So at this point, friendly voices and the clinking of glasses filled the air, while corks were eased discreetly from bottlenecks to keep as much fizz as possible in the contents and the ponies were being led to the stables, Karishma chatted to one of the co-founders of the event, Anina Malherblan. Anina, what makes the Masters Polo so special? We're quite um, blessed and, and lucky to have this event in South Africa. It's part of only three or four events worldwide, so it's a truly international event. Behind the scenes, preparations for the fashion show were in full swing. Dynamic businesswoman and celebrated South African designer Vanessa Gounden is about to debut her latest collection in the next few minutes. I am backstage to catch some last minute action before I head out to enjoy the show. Sometimes it seems that preparing the models can take more brush strokes than the entire Sistine Chapel, even though some would call it a case of gilding the lily. Rose is guaranteed to put a blush on the cheeks while nothing is cooler than white especially when it's paired with black beaded detailing. The palette was based mainly on a striking combination of teal, cornflower and pink, presented in Vanessa's signature floral motifs. Clean silhouettes created a look of casual elegance and after the show, Karishma chatted to the brain behind the brand. Vanessa, your collection is absolutely stunning. This collection is titled Activism Against Breast Cancer. Why is this course so important to you? Every collection has to have a sense of purpose. And one of the things that I felt that needed to be communicated through the medium of fashion is educating everybody about the issues of breast cancer. And so I decided to commission an artist. Um, her name is Amita Makin, also a South African artist. And for the last two years, we've been working on very specific pieces of artwork. And today, as you would have seen, it's the pieces of artwork that have actually been translated into prints for which I've then created specific silhouettes. Why did you choose to debut your collection at the Masters Polo? From a sporting perspective, the whole aspect of health and conscientization with the Masters Polo was something that actually had a great synergy with my brand. What do you think makes someone fiercely feminine? What makes one fiercely feminine is a level of confidence of whatever she wears. Classic monochromes featured alongside the bouquet of blues and pinks, presenting a look to match every complexion, mood and occasion. Tone-on-tone -tone embellishment added a subtle touch, while elsewhere just a single button was all that was needed for minimalist perfection. It's safe to predict that the range will be a hit in London for their forthcoming summer, and this kimono-inspired gown will have heads turning wherever it's seen. With the main event of the day about to begin, Africa Milani and Leanne Williams announced the program. You've made it. It's going to be an incredible day. Thank you so much for being here. The teams were led onto the field by a trio of Italian thoroughbreds. <laughs> Top international and national players made up the four teams vying for the trophies and the tournament got off to a galloping start. A polo match consists of six seven-minute time periods called chuckers. Four players make up a team, and while the riders remain in the saddle for the entire game, each pony has a maximum of only two non-consecutive chuckers per match. There's a three-minute breather between chuckers with a 15-minute half-time break after the third chucker. It is customary at polo matches for the spectators to be invited onto the field to replace the divots kicked up by the horses. This custom has both a practical and public relations value as the spectators get to repair the field for the players by the time they kick off the second half and they get to have a bit of fun. 
Charisma took her groundkeeping duties very seriously, even though heels were not ideal for the job of leveling the playing field. One of my favorite things about the polo is the wonderful fashion and the best dress competition at the Masters Polo has everyone dressed to the nines in an attempt to claim their illustrious prize. And as you can see, the competition is really tough. The theme for the day was let life surprise you. And while there was plenty of flair and imagination, there was nothing unexpected about the high standard of summer style and funky elegance on display. So we've chosen three finalists from each category. We've got three males vying for the top spot. We've got three females vying for the top spot. Congratulations, please give our best friends people. The lineup included some very familiar faces and Nomzamo Bato was a popular choice as best dressed female. As it turned out, she was very surprised to have won. I didn't expect it because this was last minute. My designer was supposed to get me something to wear today and then it didn't happen so I had to literally grab this from my, my cupboard. Shiraz, what are the top three things to remember when dressing for the polo? I'd have to say firstly comfort, okay, and secondly fit is very important for a day like today. You're greeting a lot of people, you're walking around, a lot of action, so you want to make sure that everything is well fitted. Um, and then also keep in mind lightweight materials, like a light cotton, a little bit of a linen is really, really key because it's quite hot outside, but those are my top three. Vikash, take us through some of your fashion highlights from today. There's been such fantastic fashion here at the Vivklikau Masters Polo today. I mean, just look at yourself, you look fantastic. Nomzamo Bata as well. Out of the men, there have been some fantastic colours that have come out. A lot of the short dresses for the polo. What did you think of Vanessa Gounden's beautiful new collection? There's been a lot of clean cut silhouettes, a variation in colour. I think it's fantastic. I can definitely see that I'll be putting some of my own um, clients in the collection. It's a lovely day and it's out and it's lots of lovely people, horses, I love horses. With the winning goal scored and the last stroke played, the focus switched to the players and their partners and to the winners on the podium. It's been such a treat getting an exclusive insight to all the glitz and the glam at the Masters Polo. A spectacular day filled with fashion and fun and of course some bubbles in the sun.